welcome back to my channel. Just realized I've got a stain on my top. It's been, I've been wearing this all day, but oh well. <laughs> so today I am doing my hospital bag, z bags tour. I'm so excited. This has been really highly requested. I never did a video like this with Hazel, so definitely excited to do it today. This is going to be aimed more at a C-section, but because I have also packed a hospital bag for a lady cake birth, I do have some good tips for what to pack if you're not having a C-section as well. This is my second birth. I feel like I did pack a lot of unnecessary kind of things and forgot some crucial things like snacks first time around. So this time I've definitely, I think, pinpointed more of stuff that I want as well. And of course, you know, if I've forgotten anything, if there's anything you guys suggest, write a comment below and, you know, let's help build each other's awesome hospital bags. <laughs> this is my main hospital bag for myself. I do have another one for baby. And I did that because I didn't want to have to cut around one massive big bag with both stuff, especially after C-section, it's gonna be probably be hard to bend down and move around. So I just wanted my stuff in one bag, baby stuff in another bag, just to make it easy. And there is a third bag as well. <laughs> For anyone wondering, this bag is just from Strand Bags, but it's been awesome. It's decent size, it's kind of expandable, lots of pockets. Great, any bag will do. You don't have to have this bag. This is what we see. <laughs> so I do have these individual bags with kind of necessities in them. And I did it in a way that I know what's what, they're different colors. I know that this is my bag for makeup. This is my toiletries bag. And this bag is more necessities. So we'll go through this one. This is stuff that I want to be easy to reach, easy on hand. There's not that much in here. This bag I think was from Kmart. I've got earplugs, earplugs. If I was still in mining, I would take earplugs from work. Basically because I am going in as a public patient now, who knows if I'm gonna get my own room, probably not. So earplugs. Phone charger with a big fuck off cord. This cord I got from Woolies or Coles. It was expensive, it was like 25 bucks for the friggin' cord. And then I got an additional adapter, but the cord itself is three meters long. Size matters, ladies, it matters. Also in here, I do have my earphones and this little thing for additional earbuds. I can put the earphones in with this Ziploc bag, but I just know these little earbuds are gonna get pulled out and missing and all that jazz. I've got lip balm. I've got another lip balm and I've also got some just scrunchy hair ties in here as well. I'm going to want lip balm. I'm going to want a hair tie. I'm going to want to charge my phone. There it is. Toilet trees bag. I don't know where this bag is from. I've had it for friggin ages. Oh, it's models prefer one. So I think it was from Priceline. So I have toiletries, skincare, and just maybe a few little luxuries that might make you feel more at home or feel more comfortable. Especially after a C-section, you are in hospital for a little bit longer. So I wanted to pack just some, some more niceties. So I do have some really nice zesty body wash. I think I've also got a bar of soap in here as well, but I just wanted something that smells delicious that I use at home. This is the original sauce lime one. And I just got these little decanting bottles from Kmart. So sweet. I have my real use skincare. This stuff is beautiful. It's easy. It's three steps. You've got your cleanse, you've got your gel and your moisturizer as well. It's just nice and easy, quick, works really well though. And it does make your skin feel refreshed and just beautiful. I have shampoo and conditioner. So probably chances are I won't wash my hair. The day of the C-section, I need to actually wash my hair with the special stuff that they've given me. So my hair will be kind of already washed, but I've got shampoo and conditioner just in case. Toothpaste, toothbrush, shaver. I have a kind of thicker makeup remover cleanser product if I want to do a double cleanse, hazel bug. So this is Ultra Plant by Lush. It's really hydrating. Zephyr. 
Yeah, it is a brush. It's going to be really, really nice to use, especially if your skin's really dry from being in all that air conditioning and stuff like that. I have a hair clip in here. I have a deodorant and just a little kind of essential oil type mm -hmm. perfume, just something that's a little bit light. I don't really want to be overly perfumed or overly fragranced with a newborn there. So just threw that in just in case, like makeup removing pads. And I also have a little jar of coconut oil, which is my go-to for taking makeup off, especially eye makeup. Sometimes I find like these don't work as well. So this coupled with a little bit of oil just to get that extra mascara off. Awesome. Who knows if I'm going to be bothered wearing makeup, but you know, I'm getting prepared. Oh, Hazel's found the lollies. And lastly, in that little toiletries bag, I have the best nipple cream in the world. Yes. It is the Lancelin cream. It's expensive. This is the packaging here. Honestly, well worth it, especially if your nipples get really sore. I used this with Hazel. Had zero cracking, zero bleeding, pretty much zero soreness. It's amazing. It's amazing. So that is my toiletries bag. And there's still room for more stuff. Might even chuck a face washer in there or something like that. Another good option is like a face halo makeup removing kind of reusable wipes but i think i'm definitely going to put a face washer in there because i'm not 100 percent sure what they have at the hospital baby's seen better days so yeah little face washer in there next little bag is my makeup bag like i said i'm not sure if i'm going to be wearing makeup but you know i do want to have like a nice photo with baby i'm going to be stuck in hospital for a bit so yeah don't know where this bag's from had it for ages brushes first so i don't have that many brushes i've got a foundation brush eyebrow brush and spoolie little kind of blending brush powder brush bronzer contour brush and i also have a sponge as well i do have a helping hands lush hand cream in here usually you know if i do my makeup i'll want to wash my hands first and then i don't like when my hands feel dry so Hand moisturizer, we have Jeffree Star's translucent powder. This Silk Oil of Morocco eyeshadow quad. It's really, really simple, but you can create some beautiful looks with it. And it's compact, it's great. I have a mascara and I do have some What The Fluff lashes from Model Rock. I'm wearing their Style 2 lashes at the moment. Let me show you. Oh, they are beautiful love them so i do have a little glue and some little scissors to trim the, down those lashes if you're smart i'd pre-trim them and then it's done but you know <laughs> i have this colitis blush duo so it is a blush and it does have a highlighter in there and it does have a mirror as well so i have some just nude lip glosses see i'm you know normally this is a lot of makeup to pack to be honest but there's everything i need there if i do want to do a nice face. I have a brow gel, my brow product, which is Uptown Arch by Model Rock. Beautiful. I have some concealers, Tarte, which is almost empty, and I've got the Bye Bye Under Eye Illuminating one. I have a little bronzer, little eyeliner. This is just a Model Prefer one. And then I've got my Luminous Hydrating Foundation from Designer Brands. It's just a really nice light foundation but even if you want to see my instagram live i did today the foundation i'm wearing today is actually really nice and it's light and it looks like skin so i might even just do that one as well <gasps> postman's here Hi. just goes I meant to do an ID check but I delivered to you all the time so I know who you are <laughs> it's so true so yeah there is pretty much everything there I need to do a pretty decent full face pack less if you want to pack less you don't have to pack makeup at all we are on to the bulk of my bag so I'll try and like show you guys individually what we've got um so thongs shower might be sharing a shower i don't know i don't know how it works um if i'm sharing a room does that mean you share a shower probably i don't know if that works with corona 
but thongs <laughs> as well I know after Hazel I got loads of swelling the hospital has said you know they will give me compression kind of stockings and things like that so I'm not worrying about packing that but if you've got something at home you want to bring along like compression leggings stockings anything like that when it's safe to do it that can always be a good idea because definitely after Hazel was born I was like so swollen cankle city you think you swell when you're pregnant but you don't just wait till after. <laughs> so thongs, no doubt when I go in for the day, I might even be wearing these thongs or I might just be wearing kind of sandal things like what I've got on at the moment. Also, Ugg boots is a good idea to pack. But to be honest, I think if I'm walking around, I'm just going to put my thongs on and not worry too much about the Ugg boots or have socks or I don't, I don't know. But yeah, Ugg boots. But I think I'm going to run out of room for Ugg boots. But it's all right. So my mum actually bought me some beautiful pajamas they're here these are Peter Alexander ones I've bought a few Peter Alexander things when they've been on special but never full price because I look at the price I'm like fuck that but once wearing them it's like oh I can see where the money's gone because they're just beautiful this is still available on their site and it was on special the other day so this is the top big slouchy baggy comfortable it's nice warm material but it's not like sweaty it's it's light but you it will keep you warm as well so i did get the one x size and same with the bottoms really nice slouchy comfortable can be pulled well up above the belly i also bought some 90s from kmart and you know i was gonna buy a shirt dress from peter alexander because they're so beautiful but again saw the price and thought Fuck that so i got two of these night t-shirts very loose fitting a lot of people said you know straight after a c-section you want loose fitting comfortable clothes so these are just really loose t-shirt night dresses i did get super super baggy ones so when i'm wearing them i can literally just pop the boob out that way that's why i got like i got size 18 and a size 20 as well so i can literally just like pop the boob out and it's done. Definitely button down tops and things can be great. I know myself, it's gonna piss me off. The buttons are gonna annoy me. It's just an extra thing. I'd rather just be like, bop, done, there you go. And I also got a little dressing gown, matching dressing gown from Kmart. I do have my beautiful, big, warm, fluffy dressing gown here, but in all honesty, that would pretty much take up all the room in my bag alone. <laughs> so I do just have this light, nice, medium sleeve dressing gown now this is another purchase this is something i might wear on the way home if i'm if those t-shirt dresses are annoying me if i want to wear something else this is a dress that you can wear out but then i thought fuck it you could also wear it to bed if you really wanted to so it is again from kmart and it is a breastfeeding dress i got a size 16 but it is quite stretchy and you know if i did want to wear this to bed i can easily access the jublins while sleeping and it seems quite comfortable nice kind of longer length as well so that's just another little thing i threw in there so also i have another big pair again from kmart of just super comfortable slouchy pajama bottoms i just wanted to have a few extra items i don't know how long i'm going to be in hospital for postpartum bleeding can be a bitch you can kind of leak through stuff so i just wanted just little extra options again this will can easily go over my belly and then i have a few of these just plain easy singlet tank kind of tops again from Kmart just if I am wearing pants I can just have these on underneath and away away you go I have two nursing bras this one is from Silent Arrow I think sadly they've closed down and I am wearing it here beautiful I'm so sad that they've, they're closed down and not making these because these would go up to like a J cup at least so they had such great sizing versatility super super wide band on the back they are a breastfeeding bra so you can drop this bit down comfy it feels like a sports bra it's got a little airflow under here for boob sweat it's amazing 
So I've got this one packed and then I've got two left that I can still rotate and wear up until, you know, baby's here. Then I got this one. This one doesn't fit the greatest, little to no support, but if, if I'm sitting in bed, at least it's something to cover the nips. I'm not, I don't feel comfortable not wearing a bra. I feel like they're like all over the show. So I think this is just a Bonds one, just basic. They don't really go up to my size. And I also do have these little crappy ones, very similar from Kmart. They're way too small. There's no support, but if I just wanna have that little bit of coverage, then I've got these. They're for, it's comfort. Look how stretchy it is. Comfort, comfort. I also have these tops. So these can be wear, worn as actual tops. That's why I haven't packed too many other tops. These were a investment. I am not sponsored. I do have an affiliate link down below if you guys want them, but I paid for this with my own money or actually my husband's money because <laughs> I'm not working. These are Modi Body tops. These do have a kind of inbuilt bra again, so that might give me enough support or if I want another bra underneath, amazing. So if you guys don't know what Modi Body are, they are a company that do period underwear. I have done a video on them already of me with my super heavy period wearing just underwear only for a day. <laughs> as soon as I saw they came out with this, I was like, yes, because the biggest selling point for Modi Body is their absorbent. And I remember waking up countless times during the night with Hazel and I was soaked. I was saturated. My, I was leaking throughout the night. My t-shirt was wet. The bed sheets were wet. It was just awful. And then I remember wearing a little singlet bra to bed and trying to stuff it full of nursing pads in every direction because when you roll when you move your boot my boobs don't just stay in the one spot they like roll this is going to avoid that yes because they have these super super thick absorbent cups in here oh my god they it is breastfeeding so you can drop it down like that and adjustable straps and amazing so i've got three of these expensive they are not cheap but definitely they're going to be worth it so so excited so that is one of those and i do have these two packed as well so this is what they look like speaking of modi body we're moving into the underwear section now so i do have here they are my high absorbency modi body underwear these are the ones that I did do the review on. These are excellent during my period at night. Don't have to wear a pad or anything like that. They're amazing. The, absor the absorbing section goes really, really high all at the back here. So you know when you lay down and get blood kind of up your back as well. Awesome. And they can be stretched up quite high as well. So these are the heavy absorbency ones. And I do have two pairs in here, little Ziploc bags. And I've written on them Modi Body. I've got all black underwear. So I knew stains, whatever. They're black. You're not going to tell. It's, it's, it's awesome. The other ones I did get are, again, from Kmart. I got looser fitting ones and then ones that are my actual size. So I did hear from you guys at the start with a C-section, you want something that's a little bit looser. You don't want anything super, super tight. Anything that's going to cause sweat or that can breed infection or anything like that. But then as things start to heal, you do want that bit more support. So that's where I've got ones that are my actual size. So I've got size 20, size 16. These are your granny panties, high-waisted. Um, they do have a little bit of a firmer band up the top, but this will be like way up near your belly button. So yeah, super, super granny panties. Next, I have these. I also do have my always discreet ones as well. They're a little bit too small for me at this stage. And I was trying to get the biggest sizes and I couldn't find them in stock anywhere. Then I saw these, I was like, oh, these ones will do. Always discreet ones are awesome and I will still be using those at home. But for hospital, I've, these are basically just disposable pad knickers, basically. I got extra large, there's only eight in here. They're really, really high absorbency. Yeah, I was gonna give those a crack. And I also have a packet of maternity pads as well. So, yay. After a C-section, you might be able to use tampons. I don't know, can you? I don't know. 
maybe you just want to keep things clear for a while I'm not sure I also have socks what brand new socks nice comfy socks so yeah lots of socks lastly in here moisturizer as I said I'm a moisturizing fiend I have to have moisturizer so bottle moisturizer in terms of the other areas of my bag up here I've got snacks because snacks are life I did not pack snacks with hazel and I, I remember just so hungry you think you're hungry when you're pregnant but when you're breastfeeding it's like 10 times the amount of hunger just some chocolate M&Ms and I have some Skittles I'm actually feeling like I want pods in there as well but <laughs> <laughs> this so this is plenty. I know when I was pregnant with Hazel, I also packed magazines and things like that. I mean, I haven't done that this time. You definitely can if you want, but nah, I haven't done that this time. I think I'm gonna be on a, another planet for a little bit, so you know. <laughs> and in here, I also have a pair of baby nail scissors. Hazel scissors were really, really long, really sharp when she was born. And um, we weren't prepared with little baby nail clippers. And yeah, I could have this in baby's bag, but at least here, I know where they are. And then in here, I have breast pads. Just shitloads, disposable breast, breast pads. I am gonna buy some reusable ones. Just haven't gotten around to it, basically. So that is my own bag. A few other things I'm going to add in. I'm waiting for a breast pump from Pumpables. Amazing, I had one with Hazel. Awesome, awesome. So I'm sure the hospital can have some to borrow out, but it would be nice to actually be able to bring my own, especially after a C-section. I don't, I don't really know how it's gonna work, but a breast pump can be a really good idea. I also have invested in some SRC recovery leggings. I did get the shorts this time around. I had the full length leggings with Hazel and they it puts the fear of God in you trying to get those things on. <laughs> and I did see they had the actual short version. They're coming up to summer soon-ish. So shorts will be handy. They're gonna be easier to get on over C-section scar as well. So awesome. Some other things I had with Hazel was like Ural. You can take your own toilet paper. And a really good idea is like a squirty water bottle. So after you actually pee, you squirt and wash everything down. If you do a poo, just hop in the shower. So much easier. But yeah, that's especially if you have stitches, it's gonna help take the sting away and stuff like that. Because this is a C-section, I haven't packed that. Birth plans and things like that, pack them if you wanna pack them. I was planning on maybe writing down some lists of things that I wanted for my C-section to make it more personalized. But when I've been notified, like when I get there, I'm gonna have lots of time with the midwife and I can just talk to her. She's going to be my midwife from start to finish, so. I can relay things to her or even if I really want to I will just type something out and have it there to give to her saying you know delayed cord clamping if possible um, as much skin to skin as possible and just my kind of wishes I'd like the screen to be lowered when baby's being pulled out just stuff like that so <laughs> you can take like essential oils you can take a little music box if you want to have music going that stuff, again, I haven't worried with, really. My husband will have his phone. He can put music on if he really wants to. I'm not really too fussed. As well, I'm going to have my camera there. Um, so I'm gonna take my tripod, I'm gonna take my camera bag, SD cards, charging cords, because I would like to film some of the experience as well, if I can. So, exciting! I'm also going to look at getting some little silicon tape for the C-section scar, not to reduce the scar. I don't care about the scar. It's gonna just make me look tough. <laughs> but just to kind of prevent rubbing and stuff like that once officially the dressings are off. But that's probably not gonna be until I'm home and, you know, sorted and stuff like that. So that is basically my hospital bag. Anything else I need, anything else I've forgotten, I'll just text Lee and be like, bring this to me, please. I need it. <laughs> so let's move on to baby's bag. Didn't get a nice fancy bag. This is just one we already had. <laughs> so let's open it up. First things first, a present for Hazel. So I know this is gonna be a really big adjustment for Hazel, a really different, time and I wanted to have a present from baby for Hazel 
So this has been packed in there. It's a mermaid Barbie. She loves them. So when she does come to visit, does come to see baby, look Hazel, baby bought you a present. Hopefully that won't make her feel left out. She'll still feel special. And I want to tell people, you know, when they come and visit, Give Hazel a little bit of attention first if she's there and then you can come and see baby. But don't make it all about baby and forget Hazel because I know that's really going to upset her. My mum also bought some like a little bag of stuff from Kmart with like a little milk bottle, little brush, little nappy and just lots of little baby stuff so she can get her dolly and feed dolly and change dolly's nappy and try and get her involved and yeah excited as well <laughs> all right in here terry toweling cloths hospitals probably going to have these but they're amazing you cannot have enough especially for breastfeeding it goes everywhere baby vomits whatever it's just nice to have these little cloths hanging around so i've just got two of those in there i have a little baby hairbrush left over from hazel i have some newborn nappies because we were not prepared with Hazel. We did not have enough nappies or wipes. We went through so many. So with Hazel, I think I had one pack of wipes, like one little block of wipes, and I went through it within the first day. Baby's poo is really, really sticky and really hard to get off. And there's a lot of pooey nappies and yeah, so I bought shit loads of wipes. Like most of this bag is wipes and nappies, to be honest. Then we have clothes. So it's a good thing that I actually packed a few smaller clothes. So these are four zeros. I don't think I've got many five zeros. So these are bonds, little, it's just cute. It's little press stud ones. I know it's gonna piss me off, but they're cute. I do recommend the bond zippies. Amazing, you can zip them from the bottom. These can fold over like little socks to protect their feet so can their hands especially if they've got long nails protect their little hands so yeah amazing cannot have enough of these onesies they do the premature size five zeros as well this is newborn size so four zero so yeah i've got shit loads of these heaps of little onesies this is newborn i think these little ones here are the premature ones yeah premature I also do have some Bonds singlets. Doesn't have to be Bonds, but definitely get singlets that have buttons at the bottom. Don't get singlets that are just the singlet on their own. They ride up their back, they curl, they crumple. Get ones that you can actually put over the nappy and clip together. Amazing. Just that little bit of extra warmth, you know what I mean? Then I have these. <sighs> I remember when Hazel was born and I wasn't really prepared with swaddles I didn't really know what to do and trying to like swaddle her in the in the crappy hospital swaddles and then it would be bunching up around her face and then there'd be lots of air getting in and I remember calling the midwife in in the middle of the night and I'm like I just I can't swaddle her like help me um, and she's like oh she checks Hazel's temperature and she's like yeah Hazel she's really cold I'm like oh my god so fucking invest in some sleeping bags lifesaver once i found these i was like holy shit, what have i been doing all this time the brand i like is ergo pouch i have bought these with my own money you can get them second hand i think this one i got was second hand and it's like brand new it's amazing so they do come in different temperatures different togs different age and weight ranges so just do your research before you buy this is a four zero to fit two to five kilos 55 centimeters in length is going to zip up underneath their neck so their arms will be nice and swaddled in there's no risk of blankets or other different swaddles coming undone and covering their face and when they do get older or if they want you can pop open the arms and their arms can pop out through the sides here just like that so it is a zip and then all the space here like it's nice and thick nice and warm so that coupled with you know a singlet and a onesie plenty plenty they do have temperature guides on their website as well so other things you can pack that but i haven't is like baby towels baby shampoo and wash and stuff like that to be honest i don't really think you need it we will give baby a bath there but we'll wait a few days before we do that try and keep that 
or I want to say that healthy bacteria on them for as long as possible, but they're not coming out my vag, they're coming through my, my belly. <laughs> but we, I did like invest in all this baby shampoo for Hazel and just kind of sat there. Their skin's so delicate, so soft. They smell so beautiful. You don't really need to be lathering them up with soaps and shampoos and things like that. So that's just me personally. That's why I haven't bought them. Um, same with baby powder. Like you're not actually allowed to take baby powder to the hospital. It's banned because it can get into your lungs and things like that. So that's not really a worry either. I do have a little thing of pseudo cream that I've packed in here as well. Just like a little bit of nappy rash cream. And that's pretty much it. Lastly, I do have some blankets. This is one that I made myself. And I do have a Harry Potter one in baby's room. So it is just like a cotton on one side and then super, super soft and thick and just beautiful on the other side. And it's massive, it's a meter. So there's like heaps of room to double it over a swaddle baby or whatever, whatever. And then I do have just this other one, a moss knit blanket, just, you know. We didn't pack any baby blankets with Hazel and someone actually brought us in a baby towel and we used that as a blanket for her because we just, we didn't realize. I do have these little head things as well. So, so cute. These were sent to me by a follower of mine. She's just had a baby, been through a lot. Thank you. So these are going in my hospital bag. So these are the matching little baby swaddles that go with that. So... I know this is so not necessary, but I might take these as well, just so if I want to swaddle baby, take a nice photo. There goes all the stuff on the ground. What's that? Oh shit. What's that? Um, this is something for when Orma comes. We need to save this for Orma. What's that? What's that? Thank you. Can I have this one? Yeah. The last little thing, if you are going to be in hospital for a while and you want to do an announcement in there or you want to take a nice photo of baby is take some announcement cards. I didn't actually have any announcement cards with Hazel, but the same subscriber that sent me the swaddles and everything. Thank you. She included these as well. And I think they'll be beautiful to have in the hospital bag. Those swaddles, beanies, and this is from Snuggle Honey Kids. So these are little like milestone cards, but they also have things for, Hello. yeah, you're big and strong for, okay. you are big and strong for an announcement. I'm here. Oh. Hello world. How cute. So yeah, those are going in the hospital bag as well, Mama. just to be prepared. Okay. So that is hospital bag for myself and for baby. I mean, I've probably forgotten some stuff, but What's that? We're, we don't live too far away from the hospital. So What's that? that is some tops. So there's always, you know, stuff for, to get more. Uh, what I would suggest I is, tea? yes, sweetie. Yeah. What I would suggest is if you've got things that you can't pack straight away, where you have your hospital bags ready, have a sticky note on your bag that you can say, don't forget to grab the camera, tripod, charging cord. Don't forget to pack, like if you're expressing colostrum prior to baby coming and it's stored in the freezer, you can say, don't forget colostrum, take that to the hospital with you. So in my last bag is going to be something that I can't really pack until on the day or whenever it happens. We're going to move the camera. It is my CPAP machine, which is this baby here. So that does come in a bag. I'm going to get the bag ready and set up to go. So I do use a chin strap for that to keep my mouth closed and a blackout eye mask so I did that. yes so i do recommend a eye mask oh beautiful girl <laughs> do recommend an eye mask it's light in there i am also going to pack a hairbrush haven't even included that hairbrush and a um straightening iron i know that sounds crazy hear me out on the day that i go in for surgery i said this earlier i need to wash my hair in this certain kind of antibacterial product it says it doesn't say anything about adding conditioner i don't reckon you'd be allowed to so my hair is going to be oh, awesome. thank you so when i go into hospital my hair is going to be wet my hair dries frizzy fluffy chaotic i might do a braid like this but having no conditioner in there my hair is going to be very hard to brush very and un unmanageable while i'm waiting to go into surgery i might straighten my hair or i don't know 
anything to make my life a bit easier afterwards so that is pretty much all that i can think of that's in my hospital bag thank you for watching i hope you found the video helpful let me know if there's something that i've missed or something that you guys really really recommend having in a hospital bag that i have not mentioned and yeah i love you all have an incredible day and i'll see you guys in my next video bye